to the floor like a salsa dancer. Cold look left shoulder with the cold black pants from Phantom Random. Mr. Reed be the name of this game. And the kitchen for the fiends we declare. New outfit. What do you think? I say the colour was terrible, but I'm saving that word to describe the style. Harris? You asked me what I thought. So tell me exactly how long have you been on our planet? You want me to lie? How is that going to help you? I don't want you to help. I want you to make me feel good. So even if your outfit makes small children cry, you still want me to say you look great? There you go. Welcome to the human race. Hey? <laughs> don't tell me you were the first thing that fell out of the wardrobe this morning. <laughs> Close your eyes. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> okay. Open your eyes. <laughs> Bangers and mash! Sausage and mashed potato, one of your homeland's most beloved recipes. It was in my cooking class, and I just figured, you know. Hugo, thanks. Okay. Mm-mm-mm, a little taste of home. Mm. <laughs> Oh, oh, Hugo, that's disgusting. Harris? Oh, that's not bangers and mash. That's an implement of torture. Oh, uh, uh, but, but nice outfit. I'm gonna leave in shame now. <sighs> what? Let's do this logically, shall we? If you had told Hugo that the bangers and mash was great, would he feel good or bad? Well, good, but he... So does it follow well, that... Uh, I don't like to lie. Lying ends badly. It, it's morally wrong and spiritually degrading. And Granny Pembleton said if I lied, all my teeth would fall out. <laughs> Everybody tells little white lies every once in a while. Like when your grandmother told you you were the cutest grandson in the world. That was the truth. I bet you wore dentures. How was your food today? Okay, I'll try it but strictly in the name of scientific research. Wow, that was the best burger in the whole wide world. I've never eaten anything as good as that. Mmm! It wasn't overcooked? No, not at all! <laughs> Thanks, Harris. Doesn't that feel good? This is strictly science. On the house. Thanks. Hey, have you lost weight? You know, you used to look really chubby, but look at you now, you skinny little thing, you. <laughs> you want cheesecake? I'll get cheesecake. My compliments. Thanks, Slim. I see your point. Have I got a little... Oh, well, there's... No. <laughs> Our hallucination. Harris Pembleton, you just made an enemy of the wrong god. For as long as you exist, I will set forces to inflict chaos upon life. I thought it'd be really funny to say the food was awful when really it was the nicest thing I've ever tasted. I was embarrassed to tell the truth because I thought I was going to cry in front of you. That's how good it was. Ow! I'm a terrible cook. No. No, you're a wonderful cook with lots of natural ability. Bear said I ran funny. Hugo. You mean it? Yes. I'm gonna cook it again, but this time I'll use more grease. Cool. <laughs> Love the outfit. Love the zit farm. I never get pimples. Maybe the weird's cursing my appearance. <laughs> Harris, I hate to break it to you, but the only curse here is a curse of being a teen. My face is changing shape. Okay, 
Make a tea with sage, ginger, and garlic. Bathe in rosehip for no less than 23 minutes and place three drops of scented beeswax on your pillow. <laughs> or if that doesn't work, keen tea and clean cream should burn them right off. Oh, thanks. So did you tell Hugo you were sorry? Oh, yes. A few well-placed white lies and Hugo's faith in himself was completely restored. Hmm. You may have discovered a new natural talent. Fenella, I would never use lying for my own personal gain. Oh my god! Really? The happy pukes like started Britpop. Yeah, of course. When I knew them, it was before they were famous. What are you doing? Uh, so, the happy pukes. Right, okay. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Well, there's not much really to say. Uh, except there was this one time they were on a strict diet of lentils and soya milk. And... Um, I've, I've got to be somewhere. Uh, no, give details. Uh, Friday night diner. Okay, great. Um, you might want to degrease before Friday. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Scrub, exfoliate, dry wipe, cleanse, tone, moisturize. Okay, Harris. A date with Claudia is a date with clear skin. Hurry up in there. Uh, I'm busy. Move it, Pembleton Light. Go away! Look, I told you there's nothing you can do about spots. <laughs> I don't have spots. Ow. Harris, when you get to be my age, you'll understand it's just a part of teen life and you'll accept it. Now let me in. Harris! Got a date tomorrow night. back in a really, really big way. Well, let's just say my skin condition's a little worse. <laughs> oh, good, good. <laughs> I won't be long now. <laughs> now you just keep up the lying, Sonny. <laughs> Okay, you you've got a horn. You're you're irritable. You're British. Perfect. Okay, enough collecting evidence. <laughs> oh my. No, 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 no. You know, Fenella, if you want people to hear you sing, you have to plug in the hairbrush. <laughs> my mom snuck up on me. It's huge. It's not that big. A small child could hang off the end of it. I can help you. You think I can help you, right? I have complete confidence in your ability to help. <laughs> Ow! Tell me another lie. What? Why? Just lay a whopper on me. OK. Oh, uh, you know that frilly thing that you wore on Thursday? That is the nicest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I thought, Harris, it's lying. And you deserve that zip. What? Lying? Lying is causing your skin thing. Lying is giving me horns. Oh, great. I can't turn up like this. Turn up where? Mmm, <clears throat> church. Ow. I've got a date with Claudia. Why did you lie and say church? I, I thought you might be, be jealous. <laughs> Claudia, no. But what about that look you always give when I mention her? You know, that one. No, no, that one. See the difference? You're going to... You... Have fun on your date with Claudia, Horndog. Aren't you going to help me? Let's hope Claudia likes the rhino look. Well, I'd say I'm sorry to see you go, but I'd be lying. Fine. Yeah, fine.
It's not that bad. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> they always come crying back. Well, if you're going out, you better wrap up warm. <laughs> Slave mine is the best thing I ever did. But you have to keep active at my age, don't you? <laughs> you know, when my husband passed on, <laughs> I mean, when I passed him on, I really thought I'd have to retire to Florida. Uh, I'm going to turn into a creature and work in your mine. Oh, I get to meet such interesting new people. But well, like you, sweetie, <laughs> I can't wait until you turn into a creature and come and work for me. I'm going to turn into a mind creature. No! But isn't that what you just said? No! Oh. <laughs> I have to answer a question with a lie. Oh, really? Uh, really, and uh, not. No, you see, if I answer with the truth, well, uh, well, I lose my powers. Oh, be an angel. See if you can find my sweetener, will you? <laughs> Crazy old people with too much time on them. <laughs> Whoa. I bet you can never find your keys. Oh, one more lie and you'll be working there. <laughs> what? Well, first you'll have to make the transformation into a mind creature. But don't you worry, sweetie. You're almost done. I mean, look at that little face. Oh, come on then, come on then. Give Granny a little lie. Maybe two. Okay, mm -hmm. Get off, get off, get off. There we go. Bill, you'll have to work extra hard on Wednesdays. That's my bridge night. You play bridge? No. Which means you do, right? <laughs> I know what you're trying to do, and it won't work. Now, I'm going to be late for my aerobics class, so you just keep up the lying, Sonny, and I'll see you real soon. <laughs> Vanilla, we need to talk. About how to accessorize your horn for your date? I'm in real danger. What, social embarrassment? Bandanas dropped off the What's Hot list years ago. What did you just say? Private conversation here. Go practice how to run. Oh, man. Vanilla, this is serious. Thanks to my line, I'm about to turn into some creature. I I'm going to be sent to work deep in some mine in an old lady's purse. Excuse me? I am one lie away from turning into some mine monster. You can't lie. <sighs> right. So if I was to ask you how you really felt about me... <laughs> Vanilla, I realize that I'm in a very vulnerable position here. But if we can... Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> hey, guys, what's going on? Paris is on the verge of turning into a purse creature. <laughs> oh, yeah? I had an uncle who did that once. Is six good for you? A monk? I can be a monk. Monks don't talk. Oh, yeah, six is great. So you'll be there? Yeah, Hugo, I said I'll be... Beware. Dimitri's letting me use the diner kitchen because I'm banned from using the school one after the explosion. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Am I going to cook for you? I found an entire website dedicated to obscure English recipes. When they say oxtail, do they really mean it? Oxtail. If he asks about his food, you can just smile and nod. Oh, no. There's Claudia. How do I look? Harris, maybe you should just hide. Oh, oh you do not want to see what's under here. Oh. Harris! Claudia, hi. Uh, FYI, I'd stick with your usual British prep school look. Oh, oh, this! Yeah. No, this is... It's just a bandana. Mm. Hey, I was thinking maybe we could postpone the diner. You're joking, right? No, actually, I'm not. <laughs> Are you mental? <laughs> You've only been asking me out for, like, ever. What's your problem? Oh, you know, it's just, it's because... <sighs> I have horns growing out of my head. You can't date me because you have horns. <laughs> that is the lamest excuse I've ever heard. <gasps> you don't know the happy pukes. That's it, isn't it? Uh, well... Sometimes they... No. Huh. You must think I'm a real idiot. No, I don't. I mean, you're no genius, but you're above average intelligence and also a kind of cliché. Oh. A cute cliché. Oh! 
Saturday? Not apple, not pecan, not cherry. Just plain old mathematical pie. Three, point one, four, one, five. Claudia, I'm sorry. Pembleton. Uh, sir. Do I bore you, Pembleton? <sighs> yes. Uh, no, sometimes. Honestly, most of the time. Honesty, a rare quality today. Why don't you share with the class? What, for instance, do you think about the enigmatic Mr. Kaluta? What? Yes? Oh, uh, I'm waiting. Yeah, we're waiting. Sorry, sir. Uh, Wayne is, is a football player. And? And, and, and a guy <laughs> who's insecure, self-obsessed, and to compensate wears a stupid <laughs> bandana like this one. Pembleton, I've been thinking. <laughs> About anything in particular? You think bandanas are stupid? Well, uh, yes. So why are you wearing one? I am tying my horns. Are you saying I've got horns? Could I just butt in? Harris, aren't you forgetting something? Uh, I don't think so. Hugo, the diner, the joys of English cooking? Oh, that sounds nice. You are kidding me. Harris, you promised you'd go. I'm not going. If you don't go, I'm pretty sure that constitutes a lie. Good sportsmen never lie. And right now, you really can't afford to risk it. Oh, I'm afraid you might actually have a point. Okay, uh, wait, up you pop. No. Up you pop. Mm -mm. Hey, look over there, there's Bear, woo! Wayne? Yes, sir. <coughs> Maybe Hugo's cooking's improved. Sure it could. <laughs> It'll be great. I'll tell him it's the most wonderful thing I've ever eaten. Oh, who am I kidding? It's gonna be horrid. I'm gonna have to tell him and he'll be upset. And to finish it off, the garnish. Yo, Hugo, what is this? It's my wallet. <laughs> oh, no, wait, that's not mine. Hugo, Hugo! <laughs> Haven't I taught you anything? Oh. Always check for money first. <sighs> hey, it's not a bad haul. Here he comes. Think honesty, not pain. Ready. Bon appetit? That's Greek for enjoy your meal. Well, you definitely cooked a meal, haven't you? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> So, <clears throat> well, it's uh, it's definitely an improvement on the last one. Hmm. Any advice? Maybe you could put in a few more vegetables and a little less raspberry jam. It's ox tail. It's an actual tail from an actual ox. <sighs> yes, it is. It's an ox tail in the food. Great. Okay, I guess that's it then. <laughs> now for dessert. Oh, no, Hugo, I'm full. I can... Ow! Your last lie. Oh, no. Harris, you were doing so well. Maybe I've got another chance. Or maybe not. <laughs> Just here to pick up my new employee. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere with you. Oh, he's just showing off for his friends. Of course you are, sweetie. <laughs> and suddenly my outfit matches my skin. <laughs> Can somebody please tell me what's going on? Because I'm sort of guessing right now. Harris lied and turned into a mind creature and has to go work in this old lady's purse. Oh, I was way off, except for the purse part. So you're going to have Harris work in a mine? No, of course not, honey. Oh. You see, Harris, everything is okay. And she always has to lie when asked a question. Otherwise, she'll lose her power. That's your evil thing? Lying when asked a direct question? No. Which means yes. All the cool stuff had already been taken. Excuse me. What is he going to be mining for? Oh, we'll know when we find it. Not! <laughs> yes, 
thought I'd messed up, didn't you? Well, I didn't. And time's up, Harris. Come along. Now I've got a pie in the oven. Um, I'm sorry, but there are three of us and only one tiny ancient you. Don't make us resort to brute force. <laughs> Would you like a mint for the journey? Are you waiting for me to try and trick you into telling the truth so you lose all your powers? Oh, yes. I mean, all my new employees try to escape like that. Uh, not. <laughs> so, you're going to be difficult to outwit then? Now I'm always falling for it. <laughs> then it's okay with you if I try? Uh, no. I'm intimidated by your intelligence. Okay, I give up. Didn't your mother ever tell you? Not to mess with Granny. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, I am going to miss this so much. Oh, is it good? Do you want some? Uh, no. But no means yes, right? Wrong. Right. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you may take my freedom, but you will never take my casserole. <laughs> Evil powers are no excuse for bad manners. So, what's it like? <laughs> that is absolutely disgusting. <coughs> Which means it's absolutely gorgeous? No, I mean it's absolutely horrible. You told the truth. Yes. <laughs> but horrible not. Oh, it's too late now. No, no, not, not. <laughs> you know, Granny Pendleton was even scarier than her. Harris, you're back to normal. <laughs> well, your version of normal. I am! <laughs> I am! <laughs> you go, your food saved Harris from a lifetime of slavery. <laughs> yeah, okay, but did anybody like it or not? So, what do you think of the new addition? The new addition? Ah, huh? I painted it myself. It's a self-portrait of me. Hey, Harris, you're from England. You're all cultured. Tell me honestly, what's your opinion? Uh, go ahead. You can tell me. Oh, well, it's uh. It's what, Harris? Well, it's uh. Oh, it's what, Harris? It's it's. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh huh. I...